Going to judge, uh, join Judge Quinn on the streets. Uh, he was interacting with a few people to tell us what they think about this phenomenon. So, so just take a look at this. Good morning and welcome to Daily Rants here on New Day. My name is Josh Quinn. We are live on DSTV channel 279. And this morning, we are talking suicide. And it will surprise you to know that a third-year student of the University of Ghana Medical School committed suicide just because he failed his courses. And that's one too many cases regarding students and failure in examinations. And World Health Organization has revealed that a person commits suicide every 40 seconds, ending up in 800,000 cases annually. And that's so huge, I must say. And so we are here at the Ghana Institute of Journalism. We want to engage some of these students and find out their thoughts on this very development and how well we can curtail this very situation. This is Daily Rant. Let's keep talking. When you hear that a student has committed suicide, it's either he has failed or something. So have you had that thought before? Yeah, yeah. But mine wasn't exams. Yeah, I was so broke and things were not going on well for me. And actually, all the course I made, <laughs> all the course I made, nothing came. So when uh, my mother was also sick, and things were very, very tough. Charlie, and that time too, I was having a lot of problems. Problems, emotional problems, psychological trauma and others, and some things we went to do, but it backfired. So, Charlie, my mind was like, hey, so. <laughs> I, I was there one day, the night, said, ah, Charlie, this, I, I just looked up. But one thing that helped me was that I, there wasn't like this fan. It was a standing fan, so, and there was no roof. So I would have done it there, Clark, because that was an end. But guys, it's just a thin line, no. Oh, it's just a thin line. But personally, I've, I've, I've never experienced such... I haven't been to that level that I want to commit suicide before. I always believe that there's hope in everything that I do. So if there is hope for me in Christ, I mean, why should I go and commit suicide? No matter what the situation, I know there's hope. There's going to be a better outcome. So I'll just live my life in prayer and then forget about it. Me, me, me personally, too. I mean, there haven't been um, any instance that I've wanted to take my life. I'm, I'm a person that I'm very real. And anytime I'm going through something, I talk to people. Like, yes. I try to open up to other people. I have people that I talk to. Okay. Right now, my mom is not feeling well. But, I mean, I have people that I talk to. So, I mean, I don't, I don't let things get to me like that. Okay. Understand? But what do you say about a colleague of yours? Third year student, University of Ghana, medical school. Even getting medical school, you know, you can imagine. The person took their life, Joseph Opuni, took his life because he failed his courses. Sometimes it, it depends. Certain people, they think about what others have to say about them. So that is a problem. Me personally, with my upbringing, I was taught not to... Like, no, no. You can say you have a tough skin. But so when? No, you see, that is what I'm saying. Like, it, it's a personal development. Me, for instance, I don't trust people. So even if I'm going through like tough situations, if I don't speak to my parents, that is mom and dad, because they are the only people like I trust. So if I cannot talk to them about it, it would be me. And see, me, I don't care about what others think about me. So if you have that kind of attitude, but you see, there are certain people, even if they've not done it, and like, especially girls, all right, so they, I heard this guy has slept with me. It is not true, but they will be crying. But for me, I don't care. Uh, so, people like that too, they do, sometimes they don't have people to talk to. They are, they are not sociable because he or she, he is a science student, just books. Books from lectures, library, from lectures, library, sleep. So, you see, sometimes school is not all about going to class, sitting, sitting. So, you should make friends. So, probably if he had friends that he could have talked to, it's not a matter of you not getting people to talk to you. It's a matter of your ambition. Because practically when we come to GIJ, we know that we will need to complete, we'll have to complete school with a better, of course, better class. But here's the situation, you can see that you are level 400 and your GPA is almost one point something. <laughs> and that is obvious, something that you should think of. And, 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 that is, and that the best alternative is to commit suicide, yeah, isn't that, it? That is the way you can get, you know, embarrassment is, 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 is sometimes better than, uh, uh, you know. I believe no. it's not them, but sometimes it's pressure from family and society. Agree, sometimes uh, parents give us pressure too much. 
Come home with first class. Come home with. But you didn't get first class. You said. You didn't get first. Yeah, that's sometimes they will be comparing. There was there was there was there. That first class. You said yes, I will get a first class. No, no, but and I'm going to make it as well. So you 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 took. Let me let me chip in this. Let me let me chip in. Let me let me chip in this. Let let me chip in this joke here. Investing their last in you so that. Let let me chip in this joke here. There was a time. There was a time this young boy found this you know resort and then gave it to their dad. Then it was like, a day resort in your blah blah. Hey. But it was his dad's resort. That's it. You know, so sometimes the, the, the yastic is just. Hey, so you see, what, 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 but it might be that your senior siblings also went through the same have process the and have raised their bar. So you didn't make it. No. You are like one, one white elephant in the family. It's useless. You're like, you're like, <laughs> that's really not, okay. My point here is that. Parental demand is too much. Parents demand so much from their children, especially students who are in the university, that you must make this great. But this is the point that they need to turn their, that mentality that no, you shouldn't pressure the child to get this particular grade all the time. Each and every one has a different way of learning. You can have about four kids. Some, three could be good, one could be bad. That doesn't mean that the, 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 the last one who is bad can, cannot make it. So parental demand is too much nowadays. They should stop About demanding too much. Our parents are working so hard to get us in school. And they expect the best from us. Too much is given, much is expected. You understand? Good. So, I mean, you, there's one thing that we also have to do to them. We have to be transparent. We have some people, when, when they get their results, they go and they change their results. So when, if you change your results and your parents see that you are, you are doing good, what do they expect from you? They always expect you to come with good results. So be, be transparent with them. You don't have to lie. But one, but one thing also is that you should know that some parents say that you have to go and read law. You have to go and read medicine. So I, I, believe, I believe that this guy who had gone to cause this suicide now is thinking that this is not what I want to do. But my parents has like, like actually forced me to go and read medicine, which is not what I, I, he I, I, wants. I with this one, parent, parents are beginning to understand that we should not force yeah. our. I'm the How many? How many? That's the point. How many? I think um, as a society, we need to sit down and then re strategize. Because I know people who have gotten ease, but later on have been able to make it to first class. Because Pope John, when we went to Pope John, uh, let's say three months after maybe after getting to school, no, they brought this directive that. If you know you want to change your course, maybe from science to general art, yeah. do it. Hey, the number of people from science to general art. I know people so, who didn't change their courses at the last minute and even did better in, in than those who had sat in maybe geography class for the whole of the thing. Like, so, oh, yes. The problem is when you are in JHS and your teachers see that oh, you are doing very well in the science subject in the JHS, then they start pushing you to go and study uh, science as a course in the senior high school. So that alone. Uh, gives uh, like, the student a burden, a heavy burden. So when he goes to the uh, like, senior high school and he's not performing, it, like, he doesn't know what to do. He has reached the latter stage of his education. Like, yeah. But do you know that counseling has an influence in your decision? Do you, do you have a center here? Uh, yes. Do you have a counseling center here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We haven't seen. Yeah, I haven't seen. But we don't have I'm not sure we have. Even though they told us that we have, but I'm not sure that we have. And in addition to that... It's in the books that we have. But you see, this, uh, the, the course thing, uh, when I was in SHS, so the first day we had our PT, so I had a friend, his name uh, is Kwakwa. The grandma came around. Hey, uh, Kofi, hey, of course, by I don't know, so I, I'm a visual art student. And also visual art. And also there, see, I see, I see, yeah, yeah, we don't see. Everyone do me who? Ah, Kofi, na the purple way na that was the na ten at the bay edge man. Like, you see, you see, from from that spot, you've killed the guy's spirit. And you see, my dad fought with me coming to GIG. He wanted me to go to UCC, go and do a, a course like business administration. And. Uh, uh, but, uh, Ah, Good me, I, I am running away from my just going to do business <laughs> and you see, he fought with me. He didn't even talk to me till I came to GIJ. A problem like that, I don't blame the guy much because probably the, the parents had been using it to probably advise other people's children. Oh, you, you see my boy, uh, you, uh, you see my boy, uh, he's in the of Ghana. And you see, the society, if you are reading science, if you are reading science, like they, 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 then they see you to be intelligent. Sometimes we go to our hometown and they ask my siblings, oh, uh, which course are you reading? Oh, uh, science student. Then we went together, then a general student. I, I won't even speak at all. <laughs> I have a friend. The what they call the parent know is science. 
<laughs> Apart from science, they don't know any other thing. Yes. They want you to be a doctor. And for that matter, they would expect you to come home and tell them that, what do you read? Oh, I do science. If you mention a course like general arts, Visual art. They don't know. They're not privy to that, those courses. You see, but it's not bad. I know a family who, no, they are all lawyers. The mom, the dad, and the older siblings also. So they expect their kids to also. Yeah. It's a big lie. When I see families where all of them are pastors, I doubt at least one of them. God has not called the whole family. Yes. I, I doubt. I doubt at least one of them. One of them. No. No, 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 no. no. Clinically. When you miss, when you miss, I don't know. No, no, no. Guys, when you miss a call from God, you call him, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that one is we true. Are this town, we are all in this town where Abedi Pele has the uh, 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 you, and then it's all in you. I don't know how players. They play. Can you tell us that? Can you, are you here to tell us that? We shouldn't follow the tunnel because no, 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 no. But the daughter, Amani, Amani, Amani is not a footballer. Amani, that uh, Abedi Pele's daughter, Amani is not a footballer. Amani is, Amani is not playing football. Amani, her, his daughter is not playing football. He's not, he's not playing football. At, but at least we've got two people from the line. Let me say, he said, at least you can't get the whole family. But we can't get the whole family to be lawyers. No, no, no. no. I believe is that. One, one thing I believe is that when you started from the beginning, they can all, I mean, conform to it. But when it reaches a stage and you start asking him, what are you studying? What are you doing? Why are you not doing this course? Then you, you tend to, I mean, uh, put some fear in, in your daughter or your son. But the point is, look at Cristiano Ronaldo. His son is now playing football. It's Absolutely. because he started it from the beginning. My father is a football coach. And I've been chastised so many times for not knowing how to play football. Because they think my father is a football coach. Oh, this guy, ah, coach Banawasa say, coach Banawasa say. But that is not my calling. I know that is not my calling. Sometimes, when we are also dealing with our colleagues, we should mind the way we, we, we talk to them, especially when we know they are in desperate situations. So, I, I think I need to wrap up here. <laughs> but it's been, it's been a great interview, I must say. So, uh, these are thoughts coming from some students here at the Ghana Institute of journalism. So if maybe a friend needs to, you know, talk to you, I think you should give him that listening ear. And also they are calling for reforms in the educational system. The parental system. And parental system, yeah. And so society should, stop and society should also stop giving them pressure. I think that in a way can tell the suicidal cases in the country. Let's know what you also think. Just log on to our social media platforms. On Facebook it's TV3 Ghana and on Twitter is our new TV3. Thanks for watching. Have a good morning.